guys, Sherry here. And sorry, I I completely muted up my mic. I was talking to myself the whole time, but this game has been requested from some of my friends that I should highly, they really, really recommended me to play this, and I'm not sure why. I mean, it looks normal to me, but let me just do some of the settings. Um, I think this is good. Turned. All right, so <clears throat> I I'm gonna try playing this. I usually don't really like. Uh, sorry, I really usually don't like like visual novel kind of game. So I'm gonna give it a try. Hey, I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arm in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friends you'll never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you have known each other for so long. Huh. <coughs> We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. <coughs> but if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost fell. I almost feel better off running away. Hey, that's rude. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayuri catch up to me. That's a gentleman. Am I a guy? I should be a guy, right? I mean, there's so many girls. <clears throat> oh, this is Sayuri. Okay, she's like the airhead kind of anime girl. <sighs> I think that's like her breathing sound. I overslept again. Yeah, no shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You could have been nicer. <clears throat> And you said that like you were thinking about ignoring me. I'm gonna try to give them voices, but my throat is hurting, so. <clears throat> That's mean, Sherry. Yeah, I'm mean. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. You're too cute to be with me. Oh, wait, that's me. Fine, fine. <clears throat> but you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. <laughs> Whatever you say, Sayuri. Mm -hmm, I'm just cool like that. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm like, I'm like, greening right now. Like I'm laughing so much. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the street become increasingly speckled. Speck. Black, uh, with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Sherry, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any club. I haven't been looking. I haven't been looking either. And that's not true. I'm gonna give her like a really pulpy kind of voice because she looks like the kind of girl. I'm sorry. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? <clears throat> I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations conversations where I dismiss dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Hey, that's me, but Minus the anime part, I don't really watch anime too much. I only watch like some of them, but you don't want to know. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't you won't learn how to socialize and have any skills before college. What are you, my waifu? Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'll die at the thought of you becoming a net in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What is a net? N-E-E-T? You trust me, right? 
Don't make me keep worrying about you. Oh, all right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. He's a nice guy. I should have given him like a guy's name. Probably call him Nanashi or something. <laughs> Nanashi. Seven seven. <laughs> <clears throat> 774. That's in Japanese. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? I know, right? She doesn't even notice that her hair is so messy. <clears throat> More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a, at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. True. <clears throat> the school day is, an, is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayuri wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Really? Out of everything else that you can pick? Really? Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. <clears throat> I thought I'll catch you. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Of course. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. To your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... You know what? Oh, she's in love with him! Well... Then you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Meanie. Sayori is vice president's vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. <clears throat> in fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club very typical anime girl oh wait she is an anime girl what am i talking about since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club she inherited she inherited the title vice president <clears throat> that said my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less yeah i'm going to the anime club yeah slack there all day lazy ass <clears throat> come on please why do you care so much anyway? Dude, dude, you're talking to a girl here. Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Atsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of these out. This out. <laughs> I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake. Wait, oh, that's me. Uh, fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Why is it all silent now? <clears throat> I dejectedly follow Sayuri across the school and upstairs. Upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit. Being generally used for third years third year classes and activities. Sayuri, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sayuri always says nice things about you. Aw, she looks like... <laughs> Aw, this one I like her already. Seriously? You you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. I'm definitely gonna forget all the boys I gave them. <clears throat> ah, Sherry. 
What a nice surprise. She looks like a nice girl, but then I can never tell. Welcome to the club. Dot dot dot. <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <gasps> My goodness, dude. Calm down. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Let's see. Oh, sorry, let's see. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figures makes me think she's probably a first year. Yeah, and end up she's like older than you. So typical. <clears throat> <clears throat> she is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayuri says that quietly into my ears. Oh, <laughs> then turn back forward to its like other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. <clears throat> and this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Th don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, <clears throat> seems to have seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. Ah, <clears throat> uh, well. It's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? <clears throat> That's right. It's great to see you again, Sherry. Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> Why do you suddenly move us here? We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Yeah, I see. I really see it. Basically, completely out of my league. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. So, having her smile at me so generally feels a little. Y y you too, Monica. Yeah, you you're gonna stub on your words. Come, sit down, Sherry. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Hee <laughs> hee. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. The Sayuri mentioned it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Ooh, do I get to pick? Natsuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabbed a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. <clears throat> Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly march back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh my god, so cute. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. To make ears. So cute! Yeah, that's exactly my reaction. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Oh wait, it's Monica. Ugh. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know... Just hurry and take one. Sayuri grabbed one first and Monica, I follow. It's delicious! I wanna eat some. Sayuri talks. Oh, with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face, of course. <clears throat> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. <clears throat> now you're gonna make her think that you think her cupcakes are bad. I can't help but notice her sneaking glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Uh-huh. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. <clears throat> what? Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... You baked it. <laughs> Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> made them for you or anything. Of course! Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayuri said... Well, maybe, but not for, but not for, y you know, you, dummy. <laughs> alright, alright. 
I give up on that ski weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Here we return to the table carrying a tea set. <clears throat> she carefully places she carefully placed a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot, the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh? That's not true. That's not true. My heart is not beating for you, senpai. Insulted Yuri looks away. <laughs> I, I mean that... I mean... You know... You know, I, I just want you to like... Get my number and we can go out. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiled to herself in relief. Monica rise, raises an el I <laughs> Monica raises an eyebrow that smiles at me. So, what makes you consider that? What makes you consider the literature club? <clears throat> um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayuri. Well, I haven't joined any club yet, and Sayuri seemed really happy here, so. That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and, fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. <clears throat> How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. <clears throat> Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. <clears throat> it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd, I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. <clears throat> and if it encourage, encourage others to get into literature, when, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Sorry, I, I'm not catching it. Monica! Really is a great leader. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> you and me also not in agreement. Mm -hmm. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. <clears throat> it must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. That is very true. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like... Literature. <clears throat> you have to work hard to convince people that you are both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone... And to a stickily agrees. Oh, I can't English. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. <clears throat> Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been reading too much. So, Sherry, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... I love horror, sorry. Tell me more. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Really? I don't even have a choice? <clears throat> I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki head suddenly perks up. <laughs> It looks like she wants to say something, but she she but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I, I guess. Well, that can be changed. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? <clears throat> well, let's see. Yuri traced the rim of her teacup with her fingers. 
My favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy world. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally, is equally impressive. <clears throat> Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, and it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. That actually sounds like me when I was in high school. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychology, psychological, psychological elements usually emerge me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you off, to completely throw you for a loop? Oh my god. <laughs> Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh my god, I like you already! Ah, I read horror book once. Once? You're not me. I shouldn't have named you by my name. I desperately grab something I can relate to at the minimal level. That's not how you get girls. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. I know! Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. <clears throat> For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. I agree. Surreal, surreal horror is often really very successful at changing the way you look at the world. It only, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, let just... You're scared. That ski eyes start over for, to me for a split second. <clears throat> Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Well, what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! <laughs> and give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayuri slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulder. <clears throat> I'm not cute! <laughs> You write your own poem? Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? N no. Let's get a bird with her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how that ski feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poem. We all stood in silence for a moment. Alright, guys, I think I'm gonna stop it here because I'm reading way too much and I don't think there's ever a stop point. And I think this game is entirely focusing on visual novels because I don't see like any interaction yet. So in the next episode, we'll continue from here. If you guys are new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button and also like the video if you like my crappy voice acting because <laughs> I'm really bad at it but I'm trying so that I can make it as entertaining as possible. But if you like the video, you know, give me a like button and click on the notification bell for more notification and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye!